So let's settle into our meditative experience. So if you're at the end of a long day, get into the shoulders, maybe get into the neck. Because I'm from a tradition that doesn't believe you can just sit. Like, you know, maybe you work the wrists out or do some stretches. But prepare to sit with the reverence that this beautiful moment beckons. Maybe you take the fingers and you tap the face and the forehead, anything that you're aware of to relieve stress in the body. Indulge yourself in self self care. Twenty more seconds of loosening into a seat, an energetic and a physical seat. And as you settle into your posture, bear in mind that this can be laying down, this can be seated, this can be standing, whatever feels good for you. And as you settle into your seat and your posture, notice how the body is feeling. So a quick body scan before we have a longer sit in guided meditation. Notice the body in space, feel the ground, wherever the body is touching the ground as a sense of welcoming, as a homecoming of sorts, getting out of the head and into the felt sense of groundedness. And as you feel this felt sense of groundedness, feel the connection at the heart, which has brought all of us here to this space. For whatever reason you came, know that you are welcome. Welcome to be as you are, welcome to feel what you feel. But most importantly, welcome to receive the love that is abundant in this space. And as you feel grounded, shift your awareness to the breath in the body, just to notice it first. And for some of you, noticing the breath may be too much. Stay with the felt sense of groundedness. Or maybe touching fingers together or pressing hands on the knees. For those of you who would care to explore the breath, ask yourself, does the breath have a texture? Where is it landing? Is it shallow? Is it medium? Is it deep? Does it have a quality? Is it smooth, jagged? And then settling into a breath cadence that allows you to bear witness to the gift of giving breath. We take the breath for granted. No breath, no life. So as you begin to tune into the breath and shape it to your needs in this moment, perhaps you feel the inhale as a blossoming, a nourishment of vital life force energy to the body. Perhaps you feel the exhale as a lessening, a lightening, a softening. Or maybe you don't feel any of that stuff, but just be aware of what you feel. And however you feel it, feel the blessing of breathing individually, but also in community in this moment. Perhaps you say in the moment, on the inhale, I'm breathing in. Perhaps on the exhale, you say, I'm breathing out. Or maybe on the inhale, you say, thank. On the exhale, you say, you. Maybe there's a mantric affirmation, or maybe you just enjoy bearing witness to the miracle of the breath.
for those of you who care to scan the body once more, use the exhale as a tool to soften not just the energy, but the gross anatomy, the body, the physical body. And by gross, I don't mean icky. By gross, I mean most manifest, readily seen. And as you settle into a softening of the gross anatomy, perhaps tuning into the subtler anatomy, which takes its cues from the gross anatomy. Either way, spending the next several moments exploring your internal landscape, beginning with the breath. At any point, if you need to adjust your posture, please do so. This is about tuning in, not being strict. Bottom of the next exhale, bring your awareness to the heart space. Has the, have the breath be what it is. Perhaps even placing a hand on the heart to bring presence to this magical region of our physical and spiritual anatomy. Noticing how beautiful it feels, even if you can't see folks, to know there are scores of people focusing on the heart space, perhaps with the hand on the heart, to cultivate loving kindness. As we shift our focus of our meditation from a body scan to strengthening heart energy, in community. Allow whatever the heart is saying to you now to be heard. If there are joys, allow the joys to be cherished. If there are sorrows, allow the sorrows to be expressed. Knowing that in Sangha, all is welcome. and keeping your awareness on the heart space. Perhaps begin to utter some form of the following phrase. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May I be free from suffering. Either saying what I say or saying your own variation. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May I be free from suffering. And as you continue to recite your iteration of this powerful incantation. Know that we can't love another until we love ourselves. So if we're gonna take love's in need of love seriously, we have to love ourselves first. With a fierceness and a dedication up to the moment at hand. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May I be free from suffering. Allowing the breath to be noticed and notice if any discomfort arises as you repeat these. This is sometimes the hardest part of this practice. But rather than feel overwhelmed, maybe back off a little bit. Maybe you just keep the hand on the heart. 
Maybe you put a hand on the cheek, evoking tenderness in place of the words. May I be healthy. May I be happy. May I be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May I be free from suffering. Releasing the phrase with the same tenderness that you have your hand on the heart or maybe your face. Bearing witness to that experience rather than mechanically going to the next part, bathe in this self-love to cleanse yourself from insecurity, to ignite a fierce love of self that you want to share with someone else. And then allow your awareness to go to someone you know who is experiencing a hard time right now, someone either actual or theoretical, or a group of people. And from the abundance that we generated in our first recitation of Metta, turn that powerful force of love in their direction. And repeat some variant of the following, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May you be free from suffering. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May you be free from suffering. A moment or two in your own recitation of this loving kindness in the direction of someone you know who needs it. Settling into the cadence that works for you, smoothing out the edges a bit. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May you be free from suffering. Shifting your focus away from the phrase offered to someone else and bearing witness to how that feels and felt. So not only the experience you just had, but the cumulative effect of resourcing yourself and then from that abundance of resourcing offering to another. In practitioner's choice, you can stay with resourcing yourself or sending to someone that you know that needs it or taking this to the next level, not in terms of better or worse, but just scope. Thinking of all that we have borne witness to as a society in the past several years. Holding into this hard space that we're nurturing the power of unconditional love. And in solidarity, maybe offering some semblance of the following phrase, may we be happy. May we be healthy. 
may we be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May we be free from suffering. May we be happy. <clears throat> May we be healthy. May we be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May we be free from suffering. Spending the next moment or two in your practice and community offering this abundance of love and grace to the collective. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be seen, resourced, and appreciated. May we be free from suffering. Transitioning your awareness to the spaciousness now that exists in the heart. And choosing in our final moments in this practice, whether you care to send to the collective, if you need more for yourself, you want to send to someone you know that's in need, but in community, offering the abundance of love that we've co-created or co-manifested in service to the alleviation of suffering individually and collectively. Slowly re-engaging with the physical body, maybe pressing palms on the chest, pressing palms together, or pressing hands on the legs and stroking down. And then perhaps rubbing palms together, creating friction in the hands, and laying hot hands on the face to massage the face. Tending to your needs over the next several seconds as you release our meditative experience. And I bow before you with gratitude for the chance to be of service, hoping that this meditation was of service and may the collective love that we experience be for the benefit of all. <clears throat> 